3 I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a first impression and I know yes again that you have been waiting for this first impression and it is with Ace Bute Vintage Vintage Dawn. I did with the Scarlet Dusk and I really really like that palette. And the Vintage Dawn is like more my typical style. It looks like this. So I think of the this as like a little sister or a little brother to the flare palette. I <laughs> think I know what I want to do with this today. I'm pretty sure. I think I know. So I think we just get started. We will see. And this palette contains 12 shades <laughs> if you didn't see it. And it's one, two, three, five five shimmers. So it's this sun, gleam, golden hour, serengeti and dew. So I will test out some shimmers and some mattes. So yeah, now we just get started. So I think I will start in my cre I think I was I will start in my crease and I think I want to take Daybreak and Horizon or Grand Canyon. No, I think we'll take Daybreak and Horizon and I will start with Daybreak and then deepen it down with Horizon. And I haven't swatched anything in this palette. Maybe I should have done it. I don't know, but we just do this as normal. And okay. So this Daybreak I... I thought it maybe was going to be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more yellow. I feel though it's possible to build it up a little bit. I like Ace Bute's formula. I have only tested the Flare Palette, the Oceanic, and then the Scarlet. No, yeah, Scarlet Dusk. This is the Vintage Dawn, and I really like those. And so far in this one as well. I don't know how the Paradise collection is. I've heard some mixed thing about them. But I haven't tested them out. So I don't know. And then I will go in with the orange one. The Horizon. And deepen down the crease. Or just like. Have a little dimension. And this is stained. This brush but it doesn't seem like it's come any red from it so yeah so far so good and I actually think how I will continue with this look I know that it's maybe like, if you've been here for a while, I think you have, I guess, what I am going to do with this. But I actually think to do something a little bit different. So maybe not only like orange, yellow and red. We will see. Okay, I swatched a little bit, so now I'm actually going to take Sky, this dark blue. Because I really like to mix blue and orange. It is a really cool color combo. And in the Oceanic, they have a really good dark blue. So I hope that this is a good dark blue as well. And so far, so good. And I know that this maybe will mud up a little bit in my crease. But I will try this at least. Okay, so it's going to... I have a lot of fallouts. And I think I will go in with the brush that I took Horizon the Orange. And smudge it here. Okay, now it's really mudding up. This is like... It's like I know which colors you are not supposed to blend because they mud up. But at the same time, I actually don't care. And then this happens. 
but I, keep, I think if I keep it like this, it maybe does look too shitty, just a little bit shitty. I think I can live with it because it feels like it's only looking like dark and not completely fucked up. I don't feel that this dark blue is as good as the one in the Oceanic. In the Oceanic I think it's blue clam that is a really really good dark blue shade. This I feel is a little bit... Maybe what I expect of a dark blue. If you understand what I mean, often dark blue shades are like a little bit patchy and a little bit hard to work with and it's hard to find a good dark blue shade and this is like what I feel a dark blue often is. It's not a catastrophic blue shade, it's really not, but it feels like I have to be a little bit more careful and like really pack it on and not just like swoop it around all over my lid. And okay, then I want to go in with Golden Hour, this shimmery, pretty dark orange and take it on the rest of my lid. And I really hope that this is going to be good to blend together with the blue one. Or else I am effect. I really like the color of this, but it feels like it's a little bit. I think oceanic. Oceanic. I feel that Ace Beauty have two different shimmer formulas. One that is like so creamy that you can like, it's like a UVS Place shimmer. You can blend it however you want and it will stick everywhere and it's like blendable and everything. And then they have some that is really, it's a really good payoff but you need to like press it down. And you cannot like blend it out as good because you have to like put it down first and then start to blend it and it feels like this one is one of the those shades. I like the other ones more but these are not impossible to work with so yeah and I'm going in with the blue one just to make the blend a little bit better and then I'm going in with the golden hour a little bit more and try to blend it together. I think I like this, actually. I don't know if I really should have taken like the yellow one in my crease, maybe only the orange, but... What's done is done and I can't take it away now. Doesn't look bad, it's just like... I wish I wouldn't have put it there. Okay, and I will go in with the Horizon shade, the orange and... Put it a little bit more in my crease, like up here. I'm doing things backwards. I know, I don't know if this was better or worse, but I'm doing it. I think I really need to have like my other makeup on to see if this is good or not, but I think it's the most I can do on my lid this far, so I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then I come back and I'm going to do something to my lower lash and then I'm going to put something in my inner corner. So I will fix the face and then I come back. Okay, so for the under eyes, I think I will go in with Grand Canyon actually and then take Sky or Fader Pyramid maybe. But I will start with the Grand Canyon and take it the whole way under my lash. Under my lash. On my lower 
you know what I'm trying to say. And I will melt this out a little bit. Tap the brush. Tap the brush. Tap the brush off and then smoke it out. Oh, this was dark. And I actually think I will go in with the blue one, Sky, and take it, tap it up really good, and then just take it out here to connect. And I really don't want any blue to fall on my face. I'm going to take do this light blue shimmer with my pinky and just take it in here I hope or maybe I have to take a brush to spray it no I think this will work I'm just going in with the brush that I took the golden hour and just do a little bit like that. Okay, so I feel good about this look. I will put on mascara, something in my waterline and a lippy and then we will see how this go. I really wonder what I will take on my lips. We will see. I will be back soon. So this is the finished look and uh, it's like the red lips are just coming my way and I can't stop them. So for my waterline I used Get Paid from Colourpop. And on my lips I used, I, I think it's Feelings from Lime Crime. And this is really red. But I, if, I like it but my lip shape today, my lip skills aren't that good. But go like this. So this is the finished look with the scar, scar, no, vintage stone. How hard can it be? And I used one, two, three, four, five, six shades and this. So I used half of the palette and I used Daybreak and Horizon on my, in my crease, Grand Canyon on my lower lash, Golden hour on my lid, sky on my lid, and also dew in my inner corner. And <laughs> I like this palette. It feels like the shades are like Horizon and Daybreak. They are a little bit more darker than they look in the pan. But Golden Hour, it was a little bit not hard to work with, but it wasn't like super smooth. I'm totally okay with that. It was nothing impossible. Sky was a little bit tricky, but not more trickier than like a normal dark blue shade. And in Dew, I really liked it in my inner corner. It looks actually a little like gray. But yeah, I really like it. I think though Scarlet Dusk, I think I like that palette more than the Vintage Dawn, but yeah, I will do more looks with this. I am eager to use this gold Serengeti and also this light shimmery yellow sun and also of course gleam this dark red shimmer. So yeah, I really hoped you liked this video and have you tested out the Vintage Dawn? Why do... It's like my mind is Scarlet Dusk, Scarlet Dusk, Scarlet Dusk, but it's Vintage Dawn. <laughs> Have you tried it or do you want to try it? I think maybe... Should I? I'll talk about this maybe. But if you have like been a little bit into the flare palette, but you maybe don't want all the shades... I think that this can be a good complement if you want a smaller palette, a little bit cheaper palette, but it's kind of like the same idea with both of the palettes. This contains some purple and this doesn't, but I think it's not that... 
I think they are in the same family at least. And I think the like super shades that I like in this are, have similar shades in this. Like the shimmery orange, the shimmery red, an orange, and the green. It's missing though like this popping green, but I think if you're not like me, I don't think you need both, but I really like both of this palette and I am happy that I bought the Vintage Dawn. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!